hi guys welcome back to my channel today obviously we are doing makeup obviously um but today will be a little bit different i feel like i say that all the time but i promise today is going to be very different so instead of doing just the eyes today we are doing a full face but not just a full face we are doing a full face of one brand the brand i've chosen is morphe because obviously i work for them i had the most amount of Morphe products than any other products so yeah we'll kind of just go with the flow um show you guys what I really like from Morphe and yeah we'll go from there so obviously my brows and base have been done brows obviously aren't Morphe so I couldn't show you that we all know it's pink honey but P. Louise obviously I've used on my eyes and obviously Morphe style P. Louise and stuff so it was okay to use that so without further ado i feel like i'm very messy today but yeah it's fine where do we begin let's begin with eyes so i'm going to be using my 35c palette today so this is one of like the newer ones very cute very very different show you guys what it looks like so that's what it looks like inside quite neutral but still a bit of color in there so you can play around or your glitter everything like that so it's a really nice palette to work with so eyes i'm just gonna do like a really quick thing we'll see what happens um oh drop my brush i'm gonna start off straight away with this green so this is just going to be super quick super easy but i'm still adding color in there but it kind of is a neutral kind of isn't so i'm just getting my morphe 433 it's like a flat fluffy so with that green shade i'm just going to pad it all over my lid make sure i'm covering every bit of that lid and making sure that pigment is there You can take it up as high as you like. So it's kind of going to be a bit like a smoky eye, but not too harsh if you get me. And kind of, now you've got that shade on the lid, kind of start blending it up, but not too much. Because if you don't want it too dramatic, don't blend that deeper shade too high. So that is what it's looking like. Then we're gonna get our next brush. And I'm getting the 513. So it's like a nice fluffy brush. And I'm gonna take this shade here. So it's like a nude kind of shade. And all I'm going to do is just blend that out. So go on top of the shade that you've just put down and start blending it up so you still want it to go as high as like your brow because why not and just keep going in between the green shade and your nude shade so you can get it how you want it so with this i feel like i I want to take it up higher because I feel like I've got quite a lot of space on my eye and I don't want it to just stop so I've got that there go back in with my nude that's kind of the look that we've got so it's super easy and again just keep going backward and forward so you're happy with how it looks so that is basically shadow done but i am going to take the same brush don't need to change and i'm gonna get the shade above which is like the same color but a shimmer version then I'm also going to take like this khaki, I don't know if you can see it on camera, there you go. Like a khaki, goldy shimmer. And I'm going to mix those two together and just stick it all over your lid. 
Because why not? And just blend it all over the lid. So you can literally see how quick and easy that is. It's blended, it's smoky, it's shimmery. And I've literally used two colours and a shimmer. That is it. So, now what I'm going to do is do the other eye and put lashes on. And I shall be back and we can do the face. See you in a sec. And I am back. So lashes are on. I've got a very, very, very natural pair of lashes on for me. But hey, yeah, they look cute for this look. It's very natural, spooky kind of thing. So I've put a liner on in my waterline. I've done the other eye. I've put my lashes on. So these lashes are actually Morphe. Well, they're a brand in Morphe. They're called Flutter Lashes. They are, I believe, the royalty um, style. So they're like cat eye in a way. Um, so yeah. Obviously I've used the Morphe Dark Room Liner for my waterline and things like that. So I have used everything Morphe so far. Now we can do the base. So base wise, I've already done my skincare and stuff like that. Don't actually have any more of the Morphe um, primer left. Because I've run out and I need to get one at work. So I'm going to do that but, so I won't put a primer on. But I've moisturised enough so it's fine. So I feel like the shade might not be right for me. But it's fine, it's fine. So I'm using the Fluidity Foundation. Oh no, I've got quite a lot left. Fair enough. And this is the 2110, it's the matte foundation that we've got. So, this is really good if you want that coverage because this is like, it will cover everything. But it's also quite good for like the longevity. So, if you really want it, okay, the colour looks really well. Obviously, I am using my Morphe for. 9 brush, our famous foundation brush. Making sure everything is blended. Why does it look so orange on camera when it's not? Like I promise, like you can see. Probably because my face is like really pale. But I promise, in real life, this shade matches. It's probably because it just needs to settle on my skin. Because I don't want no one coming for me with my foundation shade. Put. No wonder it does a lot right because I'm sat here with just one cat one light on. Oh god, I make myself wonder. I mean I look a bit orange but I don't get why because I don't hear in my mirror. I will, I will. Who cares? It matches in life, real life. So, so now I'm using the, the concealer, fluidity one, in the shade 155. So this is quite a lot lighter. Because this is the one I bought when I was at my lightest. It's just... That is very light. I mean, the thing with this concealer, I feel like it's very, very matte. With a concealer, I like like a satin finish. Because 
This just doesn't look right. I think that's why I like the NARS better. I feel like it just sits better on my skin. Whereas this one's fine, don't get me wrong, the coverage is amazing. And it really does last. But I just feel like it doesn't look right on my skin. I don't know why, because I'm so oily. I think it's the only product from Morphe that I'm unsure about. Like, I mean, it looks alright on camera. But I don't know, I just feel like it's not... It's not 100%. But everything else I like, so it's fine, it's fine. It's a personal preference at the end of the day. Now, bronzer. I don't have a cream bronzer. Which is sad from Morphe, but I do have my big bronze at length. My big bronze. So we we'll just we'll just powder today. I'm not gonna set my under eye because with this concealer it doesn't really need it because it is so matte. I think that's probably why I don't really like it that much. But it will. I'm gonna use my normal Revolution, Revolution, <laughs> Real Techniques, God, Real Technique bronzer brush. So you do not need a lot of this product. It's so pigmented, like you can see. And I'm just gonna buff that into my skin. And look how flawless that's gone. Oh, such a nice bronzer. Like it's my all time favourite. And obviously keeping that bronzer as high as possible. So my face is lifted. She bronzed. I look like I've got a highlighter on already and I haven't. My skin's glowing. <laughs> Loving it. Um, so next, I do have a cream blush. I like this one. This is the Morphe 2 range. And this is the shade Dream. So it's like a curly colour. Obviously going to use a peaches and cream PS27 brush. I was going to use a Morphe one, but mm, I prefer this brush. I need to try and find one of these in Morphe. So that's going to be my mission when I go back to work. Definitely. Oh, I love this colour. So I'm just patting it into the skin. And obviously because I've not powdered... It sits easier on the skin. You just want to blend it up and on the cheeks. So the good thing about this product, because it is so lightweight and it's for more like a natural thing, you can still build up on it and make it as pigmented as you want it. And like so. So it's not too heavy anything like that it's such a beautiful lightweight blush but oh okay blush complete now we can move on to highlighter because obviously i've got to show you guys a highlighter so 
I am using the Ofra Rodeo Drive highlighter. I have got the mini. It's cute. You can get these in store. And I'm going to use the Jaclyn Hill JH2. JH? Oh, no. JO2. God. It's because I've got the other one. That's why. I prefer this one. So I'm just going to add a little bit. I don't want it too crazy. I just want a natural kind of glow. Like it was supposed to be there. Like I've not put it there about myself. Obviously on the chin, top of the brow. Oh, I look glowy. I look glowy. I look bronzed. I'm feeling it. I am feeling it. So obviously, it would not be a makeup look without my lips. And obviously, you guys know already that. Morphe lip products are probably one of my favourites anyway. So we good. I am gonna use Love Bite lip liner. Lip liner complete. I always feel better when I've got lipstick on. Oh, this one looks like it's melted. <laughs> That's the problem with the cream. Lip products they do actually melt quite a lot because it's so creamy so this is flirt if you guys wouldn't know i've already used this before and you guys know it's one of my faves and i'm just gonna tap a bit in i'm just tapping it on my lips So now that's on, I'm just gonna tap it in with my finger. So that is that. You can leave it like that, it looks cute like that. But obviously I'm going to add a gloss and this is my favourite gloss so far. So this is the Madison Beer Bars Lip Gloss from Morphe. And that is the gloss. <sighs> so that is that. We've done eyes, we have done face, lashes, lips. I've gone through all my favourite products with you guys uh, from Morphe. And obviously everything I've used, apart from a few brushes, have been Morphe. But this is one thing that I don't talk about a lot because I always forget. Satin spray. So I'm going to use a satin spray today. So because I have got a mega matte foundation on and obviously mega matte concealer, I am not going to use a matte primer. I'm going to use our luminous setting spray. So I'm just going to spritz this all over the face. So refreshing it smells so good so now obviously because i've got a luminous satin spray on it's not going to make everything look too matte because i don't like that look and because obviously the foundation is so matte i don't want it to be too much so that's why i like to add that one with this foundation but if i was going to wear like um a luminous foundation or like my tint anything like that I will put more like the original setting spray on because it's like a balance of matte and dewy. So guys, that is the finished look of all Morphe products that I love, I use. So yeah, 
hope you guys enjoyed that i hope you guys enjoyed seeing kind of the products that i've got from morphe the ones that i like using and things like that so guys like comment subscribe put your notification bell on because like i say all the time we have got loads of exciting videos coming up hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you next time bye